first edition of Sunday School for All for 2021. I'm Pastor Carrie Jonas. I serve Living Hope Lutheran Church in Ettrick, Wisconsin, and I am seated here in the sanctuary of Living Hope. And this week, I want to talk about a holiday that we celebrated last Wednesday. It's called Epiphany. Epiphany is the day where we remember that three wise kings from far away, from the east, go in search of, of a king, a new king that they've heard of, a baby king in a country far, far away. We know him as Jesus. They go to pay this new king honor. And in order to find him, they stop and visit another king, King Herod, and we'll hear about him in the story and you'll kind of get a clue of what kind of guy he is. So let's listen to this story of Epiphany. Far away from Bethlehem, wise men studied the night sky. In the distance, they spotted a new star bigger and brighter than all the rest. That bigger, brighter star means a new king is born, said one of the wise men. Let's go and find and welcome him. The wise men left on a long journey following the star. In Jerusalem, they went to meet King Herod. They told King Herod, we're looking for the new king. But King Herod nervously said, I don't know anything about a new king. What do you know? They replied only that there's a new star in the sky that's bigger and brighter than all the rest. So Herod said, when you find this new king, come, tell me where he is. I also would like to pay honor to him. The bigger and brighter star led the wise men to a little home in Bethlehem. Knock, knock, a father opened the door. May we see the new king? The three wise men asked. We want to welcome him. A child peeked out from behind his father, Joseph. He's wonderful, said one of the kings. What's his name? Whispered another. Jesus, said the boy's mother, Mary. A gift to the world, announced the wise third man. At the end of their visit, the wise men left three gifts to honor Jesus, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But that night, in a dream, the wise men were warned that King Herod wanted to be the only king. And they decided not to tell Herod where the new king was. Instead, they returned home by another route so King Herod couldn't find Jesus. You maybe know some of that story. When we do Christmas programs here at Living Hope, we often dress up three, usually boys, as the three kings, wearing crowns and shiny robes. But we don't dress up a kid as King Herod, the jealous king, who actually we learn later in the Bible wants to destroy and kill Jesus. He's left out of our Christmas programs. But the thing I want to focus on today were the gifts. These three wise men gave Jesus, a fairly poor boy, some very expensive gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And they came to him to honor him, and that itself was a gift. So I want us to think about today, what can we give Jesus? Now, you may put your thinking cap on and say, hmm, I could be really good. I could do what my parents tell me to do. I could clean my room. 
And those are all really nice things. And you should do those things anyway. But probably the best gift we could give Jesus is ourselves. To give ourselves to this world, to those who need us, to those we can help. That's probably the greatest gift we could do. Serve Jesus by being kind and serving others. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Epiphany. God bless you, and I will see you again for another Sunday School for All. <laughs>